So Young Doc is secure for the time being. I do have stuff coming up over there. Leaving Seoul and Yu Chang. Yu Chang is the one where I kind of lost a couple of units. Um, some would argue maybe not 100% useful. In, or, or, or maybe necessary, I guess is a better word. Uh, definitely shouldn't have lost everything I did initially here. But you can't win them all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up... I guess we don't really need anything, but you need to set up like two tanks here. Two tanks there. I, mean, I don't really need anything. Recon like back there. Actually, let's get the helicopter. Um, and air... We have the bombs. We'll just get three of these. And uh, we can get... These AHs. And I think we're totally fine with this. Mainly because... Um, I think they're kind of out of air. Or out of anti-air. So we have enough. There's there's one of our CVs. It's a it's a tank CV, but so the only real thing they have now is like APCs with 14.5 millimeter guns. Like I'm not really scared of those. We have artillery. We have a bridge to the north. We shouldn't be defending. Stunned. The bridge to the south. Let's make sure there's a clear. Peace Pheasant coming in for the Coxans, which are 100 points apiece. That's a lot of points. You only have 879 to go. Got them done. That's 200 points. That's actually quite a few points, to be fair. We'll bomb this. And we'll get another recon up north. Looks like you take out that tank. It doesn't have... Well, it has, it has a KPVT in its defense that could probably take out a helicopter, really, but... Is it going to, or is it just going to get destroyed by my uh, helicopter? It just needs one more good rocket run. There it is. That's probably it. Well, it's not actually, but maybe... Ooh. Come on. Ten points. It's not a lot. Hey, 120 points. Let's go back to the FOB. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. We'll keep the recon... We have two recon helicopters now, so we'll make sure that they actually do their job. Let's send this one down south. Keep this one up north. We got the bridge covered. I guess we got the two main bridges covered. It's two like auxiliary external in between brackets bridges we didn't really cover yet. Uh, but the helicopters are on this one and the recon's at least going to stop them or mark them if they do come up north. Uh, we have what? Some more bad AT gem infantry. There's nothing really I have to worry about here. Recon up north is spotting nothing. Or up near this lake for some reason. Drop it in for a landing there, Chief. Target spotted. Oh, it's the ATS-103s, which are actually good vehicles for what they are. Uh, they're just pretty decent anti-tank guns, or like recoil, um, SPGs, I should say, sorry. Stunned. Let's keep engaging. I mean, what, they're like 15 points, and every time I kill one, they can't come back out, right? Record this rifle, they're not going to really do anything to us. They're moving up. Peace pheasants are ready. Mark, try and get those ATS from the threes covered up there, up there again. Okay, now they're actually hitting us with something. Oh, it's just one of the APCs that we left alive. Let's hit those. They're just the ATS is all over the place for some reason. I'm really confused that as to why. Let's get the uh, helicopters switched around. Tanks are also engaging. Okay, I actually could hurt my tank. They're light tanks. They're literally they're just kind of recon. Okay, you're just an absolute lad. There's one of my uh, tanks, that's okay. I'm just gonna stop them from doing anything by stunning them constantly. Let's try and intercept them over here in the north. 
Go land. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Hopefully that wasn't the kill all button. Let's push up, kill the... Bombs away. Sort of an interception. Kobe. Man, that's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Now we're just taking out any sort of vehicle. We can kind of just run around with these Cobras and use their... Uh, their their miniguns are really good. And I say miniguns. I mean they're like Vulcans. But we can take out some T-55s. They're pretty nice. Bombs away up north again. Meh. Let's watch out. I actually have some shitty Dishka machine guns we kind of should watch out for. We'll just go north. Kill these ATS-103s because they have no armor compared to the... Yeah, they have seven armor versus two. So we can just move north, kill these APCs, and uh, probably get the points we ne really need. Because that's going to be on 90 points on these. And these guys are 80 points. So yeah, between the uh, ATSs and the Susong pose, we should be good. Send them up north and take out those guys right there. There goes the ATSs. Failure... The 20 mils do make short work of anything light armored, which is pretty brutal, actually. Second helicopter group on the way. These guys have... I mean, wouldn't you realistically be able to to hit a, like a non-moving helicopter with an AT gym? I mean, probably not accurately, but I guess you could try at the very least and just not just die like an absolute idiot. So there goes most of our units in this sector as well. Meaning that they are now down to uh, still 57 recon vehicles, 13 vehicles, 2 support, and uh, 1 single UAZ. Uh, we even killed their, like, Strela infantry. So, the area around Busan is clear. Now the Assault for Seoul. Uh, this one is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Or, it's, I guess, one of my favorite battles in the campaign. The points are pretty even here, actually. Uh, it's just that my stuff is so much better. I mean, their infantry is, is guard, but the only real thing they have is the strength. Their infantry is 15 versus... I guess my Marines are actually 15 as well, because I only have 24 and they have 40. Uh, so my Smalls are pretty damn good. Let's try to figure out how I really want to approach this. Their ships, their anti-ship planes are going to be a little bit scary. We do have the F4 Phantoms, I believe, but they're like... They're not the best. I wouldn't really 100% rely on them if I could. Uh, let's just get two OHPs. We're going to disable this LAV. because We'll get some points back from that. 120. Uh, air, we're going to get two Prowlers and three Phantoms. Their missiles are long range, but they're bad. They have only 35 accuracy. So if they fire three, if they fire two, they'll still part. They'll have a chance of still missing. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Recon, we have a Cobra, and we'll also, ooh, we'll actually get some sweet Navy Seals. So my first plan of action is to get this harbor area and set up a sort of like line from this point to that point. So we're going to do that aggressively. Hopefully, yes, we do have an SCRB. SCRB is going to sort of cover this area and cover this straight. Uh, the monitor is going to go with him. Uh, is the monitor? It's like a support ship, but I guess it does have armor. The idea here is that I would, um, like I said, the, the monitor is going to go sit in the middle, SCRB in the, cut, in, the, in the back. We're going to get a sort of initial recon up first. Oh, the Avenger can be in the water? No, it can't. I was about to say, that's not how it works. This thing does spawn. Oh, it doesn't. No, the Navy one spawn with a boat. Yep. So, initially, we're going to just recon this we're going to move in with the helicopter i'm just trying to figure out really i guess we could have some lav scouts we have some regular lavs as well we'll get two lav scouts so mainly here is getting bravo sort of locking it down uh in time to uh to get the area secure oh god there's a buttload of stuff over here prowlers prowler I think, this, I think these prowlers are going to have to go first anyway to kind of get eyes on a situation. They do have a lot of non raider AA, so it's kind of scary doing this. Alright, 
right, let's get that guy out of there because he got stunned. Oh, this is bad. Two missiles away in the Prowler. They do have really good ECM. Oh, more coming in. Okay, they have really good ECM, uh, actually. Uh, I think it's 60, 50%. So they really should be good. Gunships are actually engaging my OHP. OHP took out both of them with one hit. Oh, that's bad. Oof, 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 oof. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. No, bad, bad, bad. Retreat! Oh, the humanity. Well, there goes one of my ships. That's okay, though. This means that we gotta kind of a little bit take it a little bit slower here. We're gonna keep. Actually, let's just get an LAV in this sector. The second we get it inside, doesn't really matter where it goes. We're gonna use the OHPs to move up and provide actual supporting fire in or on Bravo. So the second this thing shows up, it's gonna just have to move the closest thing possible. It's pretty fast in the water too, I believe at 50, which more or less is actually really fast considering the scouts. Actually, these are not bad either. Um, trying to find out a position here. Our LAV is in the sector. The second it stops moving, there we go. We can move our OHPs out now. Uh, let's get Marines, four of them. So a fat old platoon. Cobra move up. Two DLV scouts will actually get on this side of the river. The SDRB is going to move up too. We got a buttload of... I actually don't know if that's the best idea, what I just did. Or He's going to just constantly get shot by stuff on the land right here. That's honestly kind of a really bad thing. My OHP might not survive this. But with our suppressive fire, at the very least I assume we can just suppress it into oblivion. I would like to get eyes on what I'm shooting at here, though, preferably. Prowlers on the field. Let's send them in. What is this? Is the APCs coming in. I really want to know what's there. Like, that's my main thing. I just want to know what I'm really dealing with. Prowlers are moving in. I should probably send them to the same-ish er same area. Hopefully they can take out the Pongays. That's one. Two. Missile away. Risky, 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 risky. It doesn't have. It, it has one health. Please miss. Oh, it did. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. I need that tail rotor check. All right, these LAV scouts are moving up now. SCRBs are moving up. The twin UEs are going to drop infantry right here. Our Marines are on the way. They just have to come from okay. quite a long distance away. Now we're finally dealing with their initial infantry. The twin used to have to actually just drop them in over there to be safe. Missiles incoming. Unload, unload, unload. Missiles incoming, they just missed. Navy SEALs are on the ground. Twin UEs are going back. I don't want to lose these twin UEs because if I do lose them, I'll lose one of the Navy SEALs, right? So, same with vehicles. All right, Navy SEALs are underground. Their grenade launchers and stoners are going to make short work, short, short work of most of the infantry up close. SCRB is engaging but missing. The Cobra has oh, has the 40 Mike Mike frag grenade launcher. That's actually really cool. All right, we're moving up another building. Let's go. But da -da -da -da. LAVs are moving up. Cobra, that's all yours. Target engaged. Quite a few of these APCs up here. Okay, we actually don't want to lose this recon cobra here, boys. Get back. Okay, this this cobra is actually gonna go here for just a sec. I don't want to lose that right right now. And other than that, what do we have? Recon. I still have two more Navy SEALs. I guess these guys are actually pretty damn good for what they're worth. I never really looked at Navy SEALs as like good infantry because they're not. They don't have any anti-tanks, so I mean they're decent anti-infantry infantry, but you know, I don't know, you mainly want to have good anti-tank, because that's what you want to do. You want to sneak around enemy lines and take out their like expensive artillery or expensive vehicles, etc. So can we move them with Q? We can. We'll repair this cobra the second we have terrain covered. Oh, this could be bad, LAV. Oh, that was not a good idea. That LAV is dead. However, we still have more. 
that's one down. Okay, actually, that actually got destroyed way too quick. That was really not a smart idea that I did what I did there. The LCU needs to push up here. We'll get this Cobra to land right here. And we're going to get the infantry to start moving up into the uh, the actual battlefield. Prowler, move up. Uh, Twin Yui, you're going to land right there. The Marines are almost there. It's taken quite a long time to actually get there. We have eyes on two pawn gays right there. We just have to get the hope that we get a missile off and it actually kills it. One. And that's not good. That's probably really not good. Okay, we killed one of them. We could be losing a Prowler here. Oh, it's probably out of ammo. Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, let's get you out of here. SDRB trying to engage, but it's missing horribly. Okay, land this. Twin Yui, you're going back. Marines are about to land. Not going to really... Mm, not going to really get anything from this, sadly enough, anytime soon, because uh, Bravo is points, but they're going to be in an LVTP, so it's going to take quite a long time before they can really do anything. These guys are going to come into an LCM, which is probably quicker than um, getting them in. The LCM should be quicker, anyway. All right, Marines are almost here. We'll deal with these APCs. I mean, their grenade launchers should deal with these pretty re pretty decently. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty all right. We'll get the OHP to move up this way and this way. These Marines just have to deal with that one APC, which they're dealing with the 40 mic mic. It's absolutely not the best way of dealing with it. I know that. So now we got enemy gunships coming in again. SDRIB needs to go resupply. Let's try and deal with these recon. Actually, I don't know if they're out of ammo. Oh, they're probably fine. Oh, SRB just got hit. Do they have any anti Yeah, they do have, have anti-helicopter missiles. Good. Okay, I don't really know if these guys are... Okay, there we go. Oh, no, we didn't kill it even. Never mind. All right, Marines on the field. Navy SEALs push up through the town. LVTPs. Marines are actually going to be very welcome because they have a buttload of, uh, of stuff to kill. Look at the LCM. Look at how fast that thing is. Holy balls. Or caught out in the open by a BTR. That's really not good. We really need some Marines to get the hell over here and support. If we can get Trebravo, we'll get so many more points. Helicopters, Cobras, two. Okay, get out. We captured it. You move back. Okay, now we're getting... They're moving, so we're not getting the points right now, but we'll be getting the points here in a second. Okay. Bunker up! Marine Navy SEALs are actually under some heavy attack. That's totally fine, though, because we're dealing a lot of damage. we got plus 12 points per, uh, per couple of seconds right now, which is exactly what we want it to do. The reason the LVTPs is an aggressive force with their 40 mic mics and their, uh, their 50 cals. Juckwe Day, their shitty infantry, is trying to do something to us. It's not really going to do anything, I suppose. Prowler, you need to make your way out of there because you have overstayed your welcome. Bam, look at those Marine 90s. They're just shredding right now. We can get some Smaws and some more Marines. We have made landing. We did lose some units, maybe unnecessarily, but, you know, sometimes sacrifices do have to be made to a small degree. RIP. Oh, they're actually inside the building with us now, but we, we do have better weapons than they do. They Technically, they do have a PPSH, so I don't know if that's necessarily the truth anymore. Um... Navy SEALs, I really don't want to lose you guys. Marines, push up to the road. This road's basically what's like making them push in here with vehicular transportation. Cobras are engaging. There we go. Marines are now actually making themselves uh, very useful. I don't know what that rocket was. We just tried to hit it. We need an AT gem or something. Trying to look for more pond gays. I think they're all out of ammo. Or they're dead, either or. It's killed a couple more vehicles. There's a fan tank, Bagot. That's just been killed. Phantom's going for the recon helicopter. There's actually a ton of AA back there that's not radar guided. 
There goes a recon helicopter. So there's just like the ZUs and stuff that are there. Now, that was actually not bad at all. Uh, we captured the area. We got a foothold in this zone, which is most important here. Because we're not going to win this battle in this fight. There's no way that's going to happen. Hell, we need to uh, we need to secure any of the other sectors to actually get the ability to get trans like, like uh, not transformers. Oh my god, to get reinforcements in here. Uh, but this is a pretty good start. We're gonna do actually. We're gonna move this here. Move them back. And hopefully we can actually use this um, LCU to give them some supplies. There you go. Marines are going to be totally fine. Hell, they're getting reinforcements anyway at the moment. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really worried. They're getting reinforcements in SMODs and actual Marines. That's really awesome. These guys are totally fine. I mean, they're, they're Marines. They're Marine 90s. There's 60 of them. They'll just make pretty short work of them probably. And here comes my Marine, or Navy SEALs are actually being resupplied. Let's fly. SDRB move up slightly. I don't know what those units are that are coming in, but we'll deal with them. Okay, let's pull you back. I actually don't like this. I don't know if I can win against four of them. I can't. Let's not lose this for no reason. Oh, oof, that was lucky. Okay, they're all coming in now. Let's get you repaired ASAP. LVTPs, I'm actually going to get them back towards the beach. Let's get another LCU up here, because this one's about to run out of ammo, or resupply, and we do really need them. Three monitors, now nah, we're fine. Cobra. Cobra pull back. It's going... Slowly out of ammo. It's almost out of 40 mic mics. Marines are in a very good position. They still have half their AT. Their 249s are good. Their infantry are pushing up. My friendly infantry, as that is. Any Vic that comes down this road is basically history. And we can use um, this LCU to get the hell out of here now. Or LC, yeah, LCU. LCU, Landing Ship Utility. I don't know what it stands for, actually. <laughs> Pardon me. Alright, so far Marines are doing fantastic. They're running out of AT, but that's totally fine. Cobras are just doing good. Actually, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to... Uh... I don't know. Actually, no. These are... These are these have anti-air missiles, but no. I mean, I'm looking for Hydras more than for anti-air missiles, because there's not like a lot of anti-air things I'm scared of. This Cobra, though, is doing the God's work, taking out infantry with its 40 mic mic, which is brutal. Let's send these two sea covers to deal with these Susong Pose. That way we'll get 80 points and the SDRB can move into the area more safely after. Um, I would love to get some cargo trucks to drive into the city, but I don't have any left. I guess we can actually get some M60s, but I guess we're pretty good for now. Recon. I mean, we did lose one. We did lose two of our recon helicopters, or two of our recon LAVs, which really sucks. I'm 100% aware of that. Uh, but in the meantime, we did make a ton of damage on the on the enemies. The Marines are almost here. It's taking them their sweet-ass time. Uh, kind of the issue with the LVTPs is getting them as an actual... They're only going, what, uh, where is it? 35 kilometers an hour, which is nothing. And, ooh, What? God damn, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. That's really bad. That really sucks. So they have a, a big boy, uh, how do you say that? They have a, they have some, well, not big boy, but they have some anti-air that needs to get, get the hell out of there, boys. Come on. The Marines are out of AT here. I'm going to have to follow them back. Come on, come on. Come on, run. We have to get these guys out of here. And uh, luckily, just now, my LVTPs are landing. So, couldn't have been a second earlier or second too late. We do have a buttload of... Uh, and we have no way of calling it in, though, because we have no ground calling right now, which really sucks. LVTPs are finally here. OHP is covering that side. I'm going to get these Cobras back after I deal with the anti-air. The Navy SEALs with their grenade launcher are just destroying people. 
and our deep track. That sucks. One of them is stuck here. Oh, fuck it. We'll get them out. These Marines can uh, get into this building and be resupplied. Marines, 90. Push up. Push up. And the stoner is a really good gun here, destroying these guys in the streets. Someone called for a cab? Let's get these LVTPs actually out of here. They're fine. I don't really need them uh, to do anything for me. These guys are still good. We're going to just switch the Marines out in the front lines. SDRB is good. Hell, we can probably flank this area. Do I kill all of these vehicles? I don't know if I kill all of them or just one or two. They're kind of pushing through, but at the same time, not really. And there goes what? Was it the OHP that just fired around? I think it was. Smalls are into position. I'm trying to get rid of these guys right here, honestly, if I could, but. Oh, these guys only have rockets. They have no... They don't have any... Um, how do you say that? They have no... Like, gun runs I would use otherwise. Okay, there goes this stupid unit. This is a flanking force on the river. And in the meantime, our units have now all arrived. Now we just gotta get our smaws to actually do something in the open here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, never mind. We can use those. Kill them. Hey. And we'll put the smaws in there. And they. Pr I don't think smaws are. Oh no, never mind. They're not recorded as rifles. They're actually anti-tank launchers, so they don't have that much range as I thought they would have. Oh, they would have like the 1400 meter range that the the Ban tank guys have and the the South Korean guys have. But I mean, we basically pushed right into this sector here. If we could get in there, it'd be really good, but I don't think we're going to have enough time. We're going to have two minutes. Uh, let's actually get one of these LVTPs to... She does have fuel. To come here, pick it up, and put them inside here, because then we'll have a very good uh, sort of battle area to start from, just having to cover this road, this bridge, this bridge, and this bridge. Well, I guess in that bridge, but that wouldn't really be a necessity. But um, that's for the future battle, because I don't know if we're going to get there within, within two minutes and be able to capture this area. Because they're pretty heavily entrenched in there. Is this forest? No, it's open ground. I thought it was forest. Well, it's foresty open. You know what I mean. Definitely wouldn't want to like risk my guys going across that right now. Marines got targets. Navy SEALs got targets. Small. Might as well try. How about faster guys? They're only under 25. That's actually not bad. I mean, the Navy SEALs are 30, the Marines are 25 as well. Stunned. There's a ton of infantry that's all really trash. Oh, we might get this. We have a minute. We just gotta get one. We just gotta get him inside the area. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in. We're in. Oh, rip. They're getting rocketed right now. I don't think it's a good idea that we try what I was going to try. So we're going to just keep it safe and we're not going to run them into the zone. Which kind of sucks, but, you know, can't win everything. Those Jukwe Day are getting destroyed by my infantry. No way, Jose. Watch these infantry just get wrecked by the Smaws. 30 seconds. There's actually some recon in here with the marksman, but we'll probably take those guys out without too much trouble. Oh, hello there, Mr. CV. This is worth it. This is so worth it. Nice, we got that CV. And we just kill a random, um, we're killing anti-aircraft in the back. We got one more rocket left. Come on, fire! You hit something! Two! One! Oh, in the last second we killed it. Our infantry is all fine. So we got a foothold in the sector. And in the end, they lost 2,400 points worth of stuff. And we lost 190. Because those two scouts were kind of stupid. I was um, a little bit... 
I was not patient enough. I could have been more patient. Could have done that better. But we have secured Bravo. We have secured... Well, we already had this one secured. And now, all we're going to do is just push one over. They're not going to own this, I assume, when they push in. Or maybe they will. And it kind of depends, I suppose. But look at that. They lost almost all their infantry. So right now, to face me in another battle, it's just two Jokwe days, a ton of support but you know who's really going to do much with that and then a couple of recon tanks so we did a great job uh, getting into seoul sadly enough i would have loved to actually own it because there's a ton of reinforcements that are going to come at us but uh we're going to go and turn and uh, probably call it for now because you can see there's a large counter attack happening in seoul the uh enemies wait a second they own nothing but bravo so we're gonna have to do this that's interesting well um, interesting. I don't really know. This is going to be a full-on marine assault, but we're going to send it for the next episode because the only way I see this being a victory is getting two or three OHPs. I mean, yeah, four. So two or three, sitting on the coast, covering infantry as they get into the city and doing the same thing. And over here, they have a buttload of reinforcements, I think. It just feels like there's a buttload of reinforcements. Like, yeah, this comes this some comes reinforcements right here. We got... Uh, new infant. No, actually, none of these guys are really scared. They're all mostly fucked up. I mean, there's like two guys here, one guy here, a couple of. Oh, helicopters, or maybe the ones that I was scared of that moved in. There's a, a special forces unit in Daegu, but it's only eight special forces and four helicopters, so we should be fine. And over here, it's literally none artillery. There's reinforcements coming in, but they're not going to make it in time. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see you guys in the next one. Cheers!